Hi everybody. So welcome to this uh, petit lightning talk. Don't worry, petit just means small in French. And uh, we will just go ahead right now. So let's speak about Google Chat a little bit. Uh, as you may know, like uh, from tomorrow, we will have to say goodbye to our dear Google Hangouts. Not forever, because we continue to say it, but as I said, James Blunt, goodbye, my lover. But from tomorrow, Google Chat will become our official chat, if I clearly understand that. And um, yeah, we have to use it like a good professional as we are. So what would change for you? First things will change tomorrow, probably you will see on your Gmail on the low corner here now chat and not Hangouts. Finally, it will be here. And uh, what we change also the interface of our chat for sure, it will be Google Chat, not Hangouts anymore. Just as a reminder for the one who didn't make it yet, you can find the Google Chat at this address and also the online app and the Chrome extension. And also you can download uh, the app for your mobile devices or for your Windows computer, if you have a Windows computer. Just take care of the Windows computer client, it's called Hangouts Chat. Thank you, Google, for the confusion. <laughs> but it's it's just the Google chat. Um, so yeah, so the interface, probably some of you already use it. You, you, you see it, you have the people, the rooms, the bot, some search engine and where you can uh, yeah, create also your stuff. We will see it later. So how it works, you can create group messages with your colleagues here. You can create room and working with threads almost the same concept than Slack. I know the Slack lovers don't think it's the same, but it's almost the same. It's great we see that after a little bit demonstration. And you can add bots also to automate, automate tasks and receive some notification. Very useful for Freshdesk, I will show you after. Just one reminder about one bot will be automatically installed, is already installed in chat, is the uh, Hangouts bot. So all the group discussion that you have on Hangouts will send automatically a notification and a link to the discussion to your chat if someone still contacts you on one of those groups. Because the groups on Hangouts will not be transferred to chat. You have to create new rooms and new groups. But to not get confused, in chat there is two functions I said before, the group and the rooms. And what a difference? Well, mainly the group, uh, you will create it you can create it with your colleagues. You cannot add or remove a colleague once the group is created. And there is no uh, thread discussion inside. It's just a standard group, like was Hangouts, actually. So if you're nostalgic of Hangouts, you can create a group with your, with your colleagues. But if you want to be cool, it's better to create rooms, because also in rooms, you can invite people from, from outside. And you can um, invite all your colleagues. I will show you, and it's really convenient. So I will share probably this presentation to everybody. If you want more details about difference with groups and rooms, you can take it here, and you will see it, all of it. And also about the bots, you will be able to add oh, so many bots inside. And there is like uh, 89 bots, something like that, right now. And uh, the useful ones I tried so far are yeah, Freshdesk, DailyBot. Uh, poly a little bit, poly it's to create kind of uh, um, questionnaire inside online and you have like uh, your colleagues can do some, can answer for example what we will eat tomorrow together, you can put the, the list and people can answer. Also the Google Drive can have notification on change on files or shared so that's really, really, really useful. Um, I will go instantly to do like a little demonstration on the, on the chat here so the google chat just to see you to show you yesterday i had a talk with one of my colleague in the room daniel here was asking me what was the tongue twister that we talked today in japanese so he, he can you know send notification directly to jakub lajek or in french he wrote me and so i received a notification telling me like hey someone is writing something in your thread so I answer gently that uh, this tongue twist, your uncle is shaving your tuna in French is pronounced ton, 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 ton. 
is it clear for everybody? And uh, and Jakub Blaszczak, you, know, you see it there, the Japanese version, I will let him to know. So if I want Jakub to answer to these threads, for example, because he didn't, I can, you know, take him and say like, hey, Jakub, what is the meaning of this? And Jakub can answer. Is it he then doesn't know what I'm talking about? You have a notification then. Okay. So maybe he will, he will answer to that. So just uh, as a reminder for each uh, room, uh, each, each thread inside the room, you can follow or unfollow the thread, it means that you will not receive notification if you don't follow. And if you follow, you will receive them every time. Um, you can also, like, you have to think that rooms can be lived so you can stay away from the room and come back after i know for you know if you need to follow some subject in the moment with the team and then then go out and come back that's really much more flexible than the groups on hangouts before this and and so yeah you can you can use this um, also some things i want to show here yes uh, the thing on top here is the start things you can star or unstar many things here. It means that you have your favorite on top, so you can star some colleagues. So if I want, this is just a group of people, you can star a colleague, so you can put on top, or a room, you can star, but you can also star some bots. So how the bots are working. It's really easy. If you want to add a bot, click on the plus here, just go on the list of bots, and you can, and you can add it. So for example, I will add this one for Google Drive. Usually you have two options to add the bot. You can add it. If it's message, it will be the bot just for you. And if it's into the room, you can add the bot to the room to share the function with all your colleagues of the room. So I click on message. It will add this bot here. And so you're asking me if I want to turn on notification for change in my Google Drive, which as well, we say yes. And if someone's making a change, now I will receive a notification and probably the the change was made made in Drive here. Some of a bot I tried, for example, one really useful is the Fresh Desk bot. Uh, it's really easy to configure. Actually, you just have to be logged in your Fresh Desk with your your, your Google account, and then you just take it and add it here, add it as a message, and you will have it on your on your chat environment, both for fresh desk. So every time someone will update uh, a ticket that you are following or uh, answer a message and so on, you will see the result in your in your fresh desk bot. And so someone will tell me like it's the same that the that the email notification, maybe, but you know it's it's another channel to not uh, lose an information. Sometimes, so it's it's good to have it to have it here. Uh, there is another one that I tried. It's the daily bot. So some some of you tried it also. Like uh, it's to make your uh, you know uh, offline daily meetup. So you can answer what was your task of the day and stuff like that. And if all the team do it, if I understand, we can have a, a, a follow up of the daily daily job of everybody. So yeah, daily bot can be used. Same, easy to add it. There is some uh, reminder bots. I tried also the the Meet, so you can set up some Meet there. But I want to have a meeting with Cynthia, but I don't know what. It's not working. But uh, yeah, you will. You can ask this bot to create the meetings for you, or to cancel it, or it's also kind of automatization of of tasks. And uh, when I showed before, I don't know if we, we use it, you can create some, you see, some question using Polly. So what would you like to eat today if I answer that I want a smash rack? Obviously, for, for now, I'm the only one to answer and 100%. So if you create some Polly inside inside the group, you can have some fast answer like this. So maybe it can be useful internally at Revolgy sometimes to create some questions like this to answer from people. Um, I think 
I'm almost done. If I do forget something on my thing, I had some tricks and tips here. This is the start, the, the leave the room. You can also turn off, turn on and off notification for each of the members of your chat, so for people or for the groups. And yeah, I think that's all on my side today. I'm almost on time. So great. So 